Adventure Oshkosh. We're down in the Altoid area that we love so much. We've come to see our old friend Paul Mather. I'm Dan Johnson, and we want to talk about not the M squared today. We want to talk about the 750. We did a video with you, Paul, at Sun and Fun. It was a brand new thing. You just announced it. People were excited. People were talking to you. You were excited. Matt Heinz from Zen Air in Canada was excited. Everybody was excited. What's happened since, Paul? Bring us up to date a little bit and tell us what's going on with the project. All right. Well, we've been progressing steadily, and uh, we uh, secured a, another 5,000-foot manufacturing facility for just the Zen Air project. So we took possession of that. And, uh, this is our, still on your same base in St. Elmo, Alabama, though? Yes, it is. Okay, you didn't yes, leave. You're is. right there. You yep, just got more still space Still at St. Elmo. All right. And uh, we... Uh, have the first airplane that should be coming out of the paint shop when I get back from Oshkosh. All right. So when we get back to the uh, facility, we'll uh, get the uh, quality assurance guys going, inspect the paint, and then we'll move it over to the engine install and the avionics install. Okay, so let's back up a little bit, back to our Sun and Fun conversation, and tell us what the goal is here now. Zen Air is a, uh, and, and it's a, a sister business, uh, Zenith Aircraft in Mexico, Missouri. They make kits, they don't make full airplanes. Zen Air Aircraft in Canada uh, manufactures the whole airplane for me. Uh, it comes bare aluminum, all the fiberglass, all the fittings, less the avionics, wiring, and engine. Okay, well that's a bunch of the work that they, don't, they aren't doing then, though. That's right. So when we receive the uh, airplane, we take it to our paint shop. They do all the paint, which is a pretty extensive paint shop. Um, you have to do the uh, acid wash, alodyne, epoxy, primer, and you've got to do mil spec painting. And so that's right. This three isn't coats. this isn't an auto paint job. No, thing here. no, not at all. It's not uh, it's not Lou, Earl Scheib down in from California. <laughs> so once we get it back from them. Uh, we have our uh, secured facility that then we uh, have Garmin trained people, uh, employees that will uh, do the uh, avionics install. We have Continental A&Ps that will do the Continental installation. And then we have our employees that will do the final and the inspection, quality assurance, and get it ready for the production flight test. Okay. So we are the remote manufacturing facility for Zen Air Canada. Zenith Aircraft in Mexico, Missouri, you could call it the brother because we don't do anything that he does and he doesn't do anything that we can do, but we're all in the same family. People still, lots of people want to build kits, that's great. They're, they're all set up and ready for that, but there's a lot of folks out there, people like me and others that are just busy with their lives and just can't muster all that who want to buy one ready to fly. That's correct. And we're going to provide niche market two ways. We'll have the special light sport fully certified for training rentals, that type of thing. Then we can convert it immediately to the experimental ah. version. So then the general public, the guy that just wants a plane, can go through that 16 hour course and do his own A&P, sign offs and all the other things. So there's those two items together will really make the, the project work. Well, we're glad to have the 750 back. They've had a heck of a run with this thing that some people refer to as a Sky Jeep because it's a durable, short takeoff and landing. It's got these uh, slotted wings here and it, it just jumps off the ground and it's just a kind of a joy machine to go flying around. But that's all good and fine. If you want to build one, great. They're all set up for that. But a lot of folks just can't do that. So it's wonderful that you're going to tackle this on. What's been the response to that opportunity, Paul? Well, so far, so good. Um, we have got currently have eight airplanes on order. All right. And the uh, five of those eight airplanes, I have the IFR package. Is that right? So in, that doesn't mean you can fly this airplane in the rain or in the fog. It means it has the capability to fly at night with a properly endorsed pilot. Now, sport pilots are limited to day VFR. Right. However, in a training environment, you may want to extend your flying time till that 30 minutes past sunset. Right. And this package will allow you to do that. 
So it'll have night lighting and some things like that as part of it, as well as some instrumentation. The instrumentation these days is easy. All the glass panels will give you essentially the same stuff an IFR pilot wants. That's correct. They don't have to be certified for that, but they still provide you the information. That's correct. So if you want to come back in and it's uh, an hour after dark and you're qualified, that's right. Uh, you can do that stuff. Then, that's huh? that's what we're looking for. So we're really excited to get the whole ball rolling. Uh, we've been involved with the FAA recently, and uh, it's we've been given the green light All right. to go ahead and uh, get the get the airplane certified. I work directly with my Birmingham office with this project. And so we hope to have the first one certified by the end of August. By the end of August. Yep, okay. We have our first Coming right meeting. up. Here we are, end of July. Yep. So that's not very far away. That's right. And then I hope to start doing one to two a month. Is that right? Excellent. That's correct. Excellent. Yeah, we're trying to keep it realistic. Um, the fellas that have the airplanes on order, they've been given slots and estimated dates. And uh, everybody so far is happy. Uh, now, I've gotten to fly in the kid airplanes, but, you know, and kid airplanes are great, too. But they can every one of them be different. That's some of the magic of a kid airplane. The beauty of an SLSA is they're all identical. And some people might find that not so interesting. But the good news is you know what you're getting into then. That's it's the correct. same as the last one you flew. And, and so I'll look forward to doing that and reporting that with you. For somebody that comes up to you here at Oshkosh and says, well, gosh, this is, I've been waiting for it to be SLSA. What would you tell them about when they might get one? They get some other people ahead of them now. When could you probably deliver to that ninth guy that came along? Well, like I say, the uh, production in Canada is pulled up. I expect to start getting two aircraft at a time in the 18-wheeler. Uh, and they said they can do that about every two to three weeks. Okay. So right after the first of the year, I'm hoping to have these eight finished. It gives me about four months. And I'm being conservative because I want to make sure if we have a hiccup, that we can fix it. Now I got to ask you, Paul. While you're focused on this project, things are still full speed ahead with M squared. I'm hoping. Yes, they are. Because those um, are special airplanes of a very different type, not only in their looks but in how they are used in the air. Right. That's correct. So tell me a little bit about M squared, just to keep that in the loop. Well, the M squared is still the same. It's the SLSA. Recently, we've been selling mainly the four-stroke 912 on the airplanes, uh, basically the hundred horse. Um, I, it's my project. I have hired a, 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 a shop manager for the Zen Air project. Okay. So he's working full time. He is the uh, test pilot and the quality assurance guy. So he took all the pressure off me on the Zen Air so I can still focus on M squared. Okay, that's great stuff. And then we stuff. only oversee that, that project. Yeah, you're allowed to do all these kinds of things. Some people are gonna go, well, how can one guy do all that stuff? I thought you had to have all this division of labor. Well, for one, you're not having to do all the work because the guys up at Zen Air are doing a good bit of it for you. And this is all absolutely proper with FAA. That's correct. And so you can have a smaller, tighter staff that can do more than one job and can build these airplanes on some sort of steady pace eventually, huh? Yeah, and remember, I want to call it, we build the uh, Zen Air as the simple plane because it comes built, we just add the fun. <laughs> we add the cool dash, we add the motor, do the final assembly, we get to inspect it and test fly it. It's not cutting and drilling and riveting 14,000 rivets. <laughs> you got the easier, nicer part of the job. Not the yeah. easier necessarily, but the more fun part of the job. Right. Well, you got one more connection I want to make, and that is you're in St. Elmo, Alabama, and the O200 engine from our friends at Continental comes from Mobile, Alabama. It's sort of just down the road, right? Yeah, we're only six miles from the uh, Continental factory, and uh, we uh, become one of their new OEMs, if you want to call it that. Uh, of course, Zen Air has been an OEM for them for a while. Sure. But that allows me to do the pickups right in Mobile, and uh, we became the uh, newest Garmin distributor, too. All right, great. Well, all good things, close suppliers in the case of the engine, and a, lot, a wealth of knowledge. You've been in this game probably longer than you want to think about now. <laughs> he was a very young and handsome man when I first met him in in aviation, she's still handsome, just not quite so young yeah, anymore. So but young you know anymore. what? That's happening to all of us. Great stuff, Paul Mather. Tell us how we find you on the web to find out both about, I'm looking over the camera shoulder here at the Breeze, and uh, tell us about that and the uh, uh, 750 project. How do we find you on the web? All right, we do have two websites, and uh, but you can go through both of them out of one. And, of course, it's msquaredaircraft.com. All right, so that's how we find out both airplane types and can keep up with the latest in pricing and delivery availability and such as that. 
Well, lots of information about, uh, I think, just about all the Breeze airplanes that are coming out of uh, M Squared and more information about the Zenith airplanes as well and lots of affordable aviation available on bydanjohnson.com. Thanks for joining Paul Mather and myself here in the ultralight area of Oshkosh. Thank you.